Well, it's me again. It's Carpo. Yeah, I'm under the light. I probably don't want to be under the light. At any rate, I uh, have been making guitars for about a month now, and of course I've been keeping track of them by uploading a couple of videos on this channel. I realized it had been a couple of weeks since I really updated on what I'm doing, and uh, as I mentioned before, I have this pine table right here that I've been cutting guitars out of. This belonged to uh, my wife's parents, and I guess it goes way back, but I'm not sure how far, but I know <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I know it's made out of three uh, 1x12s hooked together, <clears throat> and so what I did was I cut a bunch of pine blanks out of this. I mentioned it before, I've got this one I hit with some stain, but uh, there's a pine blank here. I set up a bunch of bunch of templates as well. I've got a P-based template and a Samic, which is over here, and I'm going to get to that. I'm going to bring you guys along on a little journey to uh, try to replicate my Samic. But anyway, I've got that one. This one, I was trying to fill some holes with resin. And uh, this one, and these are all just future blanks, perhaps? I just made them because I was really adamant one night about just cutting a bunch out of there and I just did and then I kind of slowed down this was the one I was working on that I showed a couple weeks ago and it has a channel of resin in it once it's polished out it'll have a bridge and pickups over a lot of this stuff but I think it's gonna look really cool when it's done but that brings me to the guitars that I'm actually working on right here as you can already see, there's some purple in here, and, you know, perhaps I should have used purple with the purple, but I didn't. And I haven't quite finished the head here. I could still do something like that, but I don't want to. This is Purple Heart as a fretboard, and this one is Rosewood, Brazilian Rosewood. Uh, or, sorry, Bolivian Rosewood. So this was the base I was working on that I showed everyone before and I had some issues down here and so I had to remove the center portion of it and I ended up replacing the center, this is mahogany, I made it like 10 years ago and then I fixed the shape up and detailed it, then I added this piece of maple in the center which is going to be glued in and then I have this neck which will be a removable neck. So you can see that I used a certain type of... Why are there always sirens? Um, I used a resin and glow powder with some sparkly stuff. <laughs> it's literally glitter. Uh, glitter, epoxy, and glow powder. And under black light it glows strong. And then over here, this is actually... If you haven't seen this one before... Um, if you hold it up to the light, this this part actually is clear because it has this glow powder that goes through it. And I broke it while I was trying to do that, but I was able to repair it. So anyhow, this is going to be a base, and I'm going to do a P base setup. And I already have the pickups for it somewhere over here, but um, these were the pickups that came out of the old P base. But I also have a new pair. And I've been slowly building up, as I go, various different uh, gear here. So here are the new ones. And I think that this is going to be a nice base, but I apparently my tuning pegs and stuff got lost in shipment. So I'm waiting on those. Um, and this... I'll move this over here. This is... Uh, I've been working on templates. This is my routing template for doing these humbuckers right here. And this is for doing my guitar necks. And one of my early uh, attempts at doing koa, I just use that as kind of a, a template now. And I was using it to learn how to do inlays. So I was trying to do inlays. Alright, come on, Lucy. I know you got to get out here. You've always got to see what's going on. Knock my shit over, of course. Okay. <laughs> so, over here I've got these these bits, which are going to go along with this. And you guys are going to come along with me on that journey. Um, this is some wiring that has a five-way switch. And it's Stratocaster style. I'm not too keen on this, and I don't necessarily want to use this. So I'm thinking twice. I need a three-way switch, a selector, which goes here. 
And then down here I need two knobs. These are taped up because I don't want to damage them. Sorry about the sirens. It's just, you know, I hate living near the city. It just sucks. It's actually frustrating. I want to live in the country and just do this shit from a barn. So anyhow, this is my pride and joy right here, the Purple Heart fretboard. When I planed this and sanded it this morning for the second time, it was actually, I glued it and clamped it last night. And then this morning I sanded it out and it actually turned totally brown. And within a few hours, that purple starts to seep back out. It just has a natural purple sheen. Here's one that's not sawn out yet, but it's marked. This will go on another guitar. So I have right here, besides these two guitars that I'm working on, and I love these by the way, check out the shape on the back of this. I'm still rounding this out, but this is, I think, going to be really nice. And here's the cool thing. Uh, the ones that have a fixed neck, like this, this is a one-piece guitar. So I rounded this really heavily, and that allows you to be much more comfortable to play. And uh, so I put in the tuning pegs, checked out the hardware today, and uh, I got a couple more truss rods. So the truss rods will go in the neck, and they allow you to adjust for string height action, as they call it. Um, so before I get into the Samic part here, we're going to talk about the two other necks that I made mistakes on and totally screwed up. I was so excited learning how to curve. This is rosewood, this is purple heart. Um, only one has fret markers. I actually kind of got ahead of myself here. And I was so busy sanding these Paduke and purple heart necks that have like way too steep of an angle that I ended up grinding this end down instead of leaving just this part chunky. Meaning that I have to kind of retrofit and build a little trough, lock it in, and rebuild this square-ish so I can fit it against a guitar into a square slot. Or else make a trough size slot. And uh, anyhow, <laughs> we'll see how that turns out and we'll see where it ends up. But so far it looks like I've got four necks and seven bodies. And then that brings me to the Samic. Now this thing... Okay, so I got this guitar, this bass, when I was 14 years old. My father got me this thing for my birthday. I wanted a bass guitar, and I said, I want a bass, and I'm going to turn on my camera so I could do a time lapse here. I wanted a bass because I tried to play acoustic guitar, and my fingers, uh, I thought, were too big. Now, this is a common misconception with people. They want to learn to play guitar and they think their hands are too big because it's hard. The strings get all muddled up. But that wasn't the case. And uh, in the long run, I ended up playing both. But what we have here is a Samic, which is made by Yamaha. And Yamaha made these Samic guitars. And my, I think it's made out of paper mache. I'm totally kidding. Uh, it's probably like basswood or something extremely light. So it's got your standard cavity over here for your knobs, you know, uh, your pots, as you call them, potentiometers. And then over here you have an active pickup pocket, which is basically a 9-volt battery which connects to your system and powers the system. Now, usually pots are separate. This particular one is built with a circuit board. And I always found that kind of weird because, you know, I'm like, do I want to reuse this? It's probably a piece of crap. And I'm going to have to learn how to rewire this, but I'm going to reuse it just for the sake of nostalgia. And the novelty, it's got a variety of different types of pots here, as well as all the different... Uh, I mean, look at all these capacitors and crap. I don't even know why you would need this much stuff. But that's another story altogether. Right here we have the pickups. These were the Samic pickups that came with it. I sanded them down and I painted them a awesome school best yellow because I wanted to have yellow pickups. So as you can see the neck, and by the way, this is the neck that goes in it and it's tapered and it's accurate to the point where if you try to pull it out, you can't because, you know, you've got at least five-eighths to three-quarters.